guys, welcome to Slash Safe. I'm Zach Templi. Today, I want you to join me in a Get Ready With Me video. I'm actually attending the Singapore Fashion Week 2016, the Nita Shea Fashion Show. And I'm really, really excited. So let's get to it. So first thing I want to do is to scrub my lips. This is from H&M. If you guys have seen my H&M haul, it's really good and moisturizing. So the most important thing is to have a really beautiful lips. It feels so good to like have lips that is moisturized when you rub your lips together. So now I'm actually going to prep my face and I'm using the facial treatment, clear lotion and facial treatment as in by SK2. So SK2 is the official skincare sponsor of the Singapore Fashion Week 2016 and they have invited me to attend the Singapore Fashion Week. I'm going to use facial treatment, clear lotion as my toner and the facial treatment essence as an essence. It works really well together. I'm going to use like a upward motions and outward motion. Next I'm going to use the Clinique Custom Repair Serum, just gonna put it at my T-zone and just spread it out evenly. And not forgetting my neck. For moisturizer, I'm using the SK2 Radical New H Power. Dip it at my T-zone and spread it out evenly. So I'm actually gonna put my lip balm. This is a lip balm from Factory. This is not one of my best lip balm that I've got, but I have to finish up before moving on to the next lip balm. So I would suggest not buying this lip balm from Factory. I'm not sure about the rest of their makeup products. It's not as moisturizing as I want it to be. Once I'm done prepping my skin, I'm gonna move on to makeup. And I'm using the Nivea Man Replenishing Post Shaving Balm as my primer. It's great and it's recommended by Nikki Tutorials. This is like my second time using it and so far I've been liking it. So what I have to do is just put it around my face and just spread it out evenly. I like the texture that it is giving me. For concealer, I'm using my concealer palette just to clear off my unwanted blemishes. So I'm using the green concealer to cover up redness. I don't have a lot of redness as well. The only time that I get red is from like shaving or new pimples and acne. And I'm using with the salmon color to cover out the black spot. I need to look a little bit extra perfect today because everyone who attends Fashion Week are gonna judge. I'm gonna use my Precision Sponge from H&M. It's not like a beauty blender but it works really really well and I kind of like it. And the best is to use it then. I'm not going to use full on with like blending it. I'm going to put on like a layer of my full coverage foundation over it. And do my under eye as well. Once you are working with it, you have to move on to your foundation. So I'm using a Cryolin TV paint stick which is like a foundation stick. And this is in the color FS36. This is the kind of foundation that I started off with and ever since then I am like obsessed with it. This is slightly lighter than my skin tone because I've grown tanned over the past few months. So one thing about this, it becomes a little bit cakey if you don't blend well. I'm gonna use my finger to glide over it and just gonna tap onto those that you need an extra coverage. Tap lightly just to blend out the edges. So once I'm done with my half of my face, I'm actually just gonna pat in my powder because I don't want the creases to see. I'm using my everyday body shop powder. I'm just using it just to clear it off also. I have a lot of products to clear so like I'm not gonna I'll use a new one until like I clear it because I feel like it'll be a waste and I spend so much money on it. I'm gonna go all the way to my hairline because I'm gonna start my head up. And we're done with foundation as well as powder. After doing foundation, what I like to do is to move on with my eyebrow. I'm actually gonna use two different products. First one is the eyebrow pencil from Avon, and this is the American Icon Eyebrow Palette, which comes with two different colors of eyebrow powder as well as a palette of gel. First of all, I'm actually gonna just shape my eyebrow. That just gonna go in inner like outer part of the eyebrow. Leave 10% of your inner eyebrow empty and then just use your eyebrow brush. Just brush it out evenly. Brush it up and out. And I'm using an angled brush, just step onto the black color and go in an upward stroke. 
and then just spin it in and then I'm gonna go with the gel with Miss Pili and then now I'm gonna go on use my foundation stick to conceal my eyebrow conceal the lower eyebrow area that you don't want not forgetting the upper as well I brought on flake yells. Now I have to do the other side. Ah, oh, it takes me forever. I realized that this eyebrow is a little bit too straight, but I'm gonna work with it. This is it. My eyebrow is done. So I'm just gonna use my powder to pat on like the foundation that I've used. Now to contour it and highlight I'm actually gonna use my Maybelline Long Lasting UV Cake Powder It's in Nude Beige It's a little bit lighter than what I normally wear So it just gives me a normal natural highlight I'm gonna use it on my nose area And my forehead The reason why I use this kind of highlight Because I don't like shimmery highlight Because it makes me look like an oily skin This gives a matte Look, but highlight it very well. I'm gonna go with this all the way to my forehead and then up to ribs on my cheekbone. All I have to do is just blend it in well. I'm gonna put on my cupid's bow. For this, I don't mind putting it like as close to my lip as possible because I'm gonna actually use lipstick today and then using it on my chin. Now you see, it's a little bit luminous and I'm gonna move on to my contour. Loving my contour. I, I love contouring because it makes my face look so great. So I'm gonna use my contour palette. It has a lot of colors. This color is the darkest in my palette but I have a darker contour for my jawline. So using my contour brush, I'm gonna use the lightest color, like a medium brown to contour my nose and just blend it in this gives like a natural contour moving on again to my other side I am telling you guys this is not my everyday makeup this is my makeup for events because I have to look extra perfect and I'm just gonna use this and go all the way to my eyelid as well just to give like a little bit of smoky effect so you can see I have deep set eyes and I'm just adding on to like effect I'm gonna use the same thing for my forehead because I have a really white forehead and I'm gonna put my hair up it'll be even wider blend it in blend 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 using the darkest one I'm gonna put like 10% of my corner of my forehead moving on to my cheekbone using the darkest one and just gonna just gonna blend in downwards not upwards I'm gonna use the same thing for my next side use my NYX highlight and contour powder this contour palette is almost finished I just cut my jawline I'm gonna press it on just to give like a more chiseled jawline just gonna slightly drag it down cast like a little bit of shadow and then using whatever I have left just gonna use it under my lips and and I'm done with contour and highlight I'm gonna move on to Blusher. I'm using this Daiso blusher. It is actually really really good. Swirl it around I'm Gonna go on to my other side Moving on to my ultimate secret weapon. It is my body shop bronzer I think all guys who, who uses makeup at least should have Bronzer. What I always do is from other corner move in, even all the way to a highlight because it helps to give very natural tan from your contour to your highlight. Just give like a gradient, you know. Even under your eyes, that's why it tends to be too bright for me. And voila! Look at my tan face. Today I'm actually gonna try a really fun look because it's fashion week and this is the only time that I can have a fun look using colored eye pencil. When it comes to my eye, I like to have my mirror as close as possible. This is very intense and I can't speak at all. I already made a huge mistake. Oh wow, really really extreme. So that was an intense moment for me. I am so bad. 
I'm putting on eye makeup. It has like a pop of green there. So I'm just gonna touch up my contour and bronzing it. I'm actually really really late. I'm gonna put some sparkle in the middle inner corner of my eyes. I'm gonna put on my mascara. This is my mascara from Daiso. I'm just using mascara just to bring back the original color of my eyes. For lips, I'm gonna use Elizabeth Arden. This nice purple color. This is the only time that I can be bold with my color choice. And I'm done. There's like a, a bit of like ombre here. I'm gonna change everything and get back to you guys in a minute. So I lost the footage for the rest of the video and I'm just gonna show you the highlights of Nida Shea Fashion Show. Basically, I kind of like the fashion show and it's really interesting. Nita Shea is very intricate with her embroidery. But in terms of design-wise, I'm not really a fan of it because it's really basic and just normal. I attended the fashion show with my friend Felicia. Her Instagram is at potato potato. Don't forget to follow her. What I wore was a maroon t-shirt from H&M as well as the leather jacket from H&M. The bridge was from factory so is the pants and the shoes was from Top Man. Harper's Bazaar Singapore awarded us as the top 10 best dress attendee of day 4 Singapore Fashion Week and I'm so happy to meet it on that list with the rest of the fashionista. Thank you for watching Star Safe, I'm Zach Denvli. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do give it a thumbs up and share with your friends too. Comment down below if you want to see more makeup tutorials from me. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Do remember, all here style. Star Slave.